Oh, this is David Livick, and you're tuned into That's Not Christian Podcast. And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Let's go. What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Switch. I'm here with your man, Jimmy. I'm here with your man, Jay. I'm here with your man, Ant. And we have our very, very special guest, David Livin'. Yo, what's up? Let's go. All the way from New Zealand. (laughs) All the way from New Zealand. Now, what time is it over there right now? It's uh, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. He's he's, he's already Thursday. Yeah, he's he's, uh, transmitting from the future. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like, what 16 hours or something yeah wow yeah. okay Crazy. well it's 8 8 p.m over here eastern eastern time and in where Cali- are you guys located so me and switch are in new york uh and is in uh the state of georgia and then i'm in california jimmy's in cali how much of a difference is it like in time yeah so us three, Jimmy, Switch, and Ant, we're all in the same t- uh, same time, Eastern. And then yeah. uh, for Jimmy, it, he is three, three hours. hours behind. No, oh, okay. So not that much. Yeah. And you're 16 hours ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He's 19 yeah. hours ahead of Jimmy. Wow. Yeah. True. That's crazy. Mm. Yes. How's the weather out there in New Zealand? Because it's snowing over here. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like Over here, it's like summer over the like christmas holidays and stuff so it's pretty hot today to be honest like i was driving for like three hours today and it was so hot but wow so how how is it how is it watching like american television and hearing you know like just american culture like white christmas and it's snowing and christmas trees and all that and you guys got summer yeah i mean we get like Going to the supermarket, we hear like I know jingle bells and all that. Talking about right. you know <laughs> Rudolph and stuff, and it's like summer. Oh no! Over here, so it's oh, a bit okay. weird, but okay. stuff over here like summer kind of stuff. Right, um, that's yeah. crazy. It's pretty crazy to think. I really can't... do like turkeys when you think over here, but yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, in Home Alone. Uh, you know, Kevin's like, who wants to spend Christmas in a tropical climate or like somewhere hot? Like, it's just so foreign and so weird. New York, but then for you guys, it's normal in Florida. Yeah, yeah, it's it's weird for winter. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, Christmas, you just think white Christmas, no things like that, not necessarily. Now, is is the whole is the whole uh, country like warm like that, or is it just uh, certain areas? Uh, for the most part, like. So we've got like two islands, like two main islands. So the South Island's like maybe six degrees colder. Oh, I, oh okay. Actually, it's different over there as well. You guys like Fahrenheit and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, I don't know what that would be for you guys, but yeah, yeah. it's colder it's, down it's there. Six degrees, it's six degrees colder over there is what you're saying in, in yeah. the other island? Yeah, yeah. So like... There's not, there's only like a few mountains in the North Island that have snow, and then it's just. Oh, wow. Yeah. So but down south, there's like. In the mountain. A, yeah, there's like the Southern Alps and the Southern southern Island. So. Oh, wow. So the cities, there's yeah. no snow, there's no nothing uh, all year round? Mm. Or, or in your winter? Uh, there, there's like some tourist ones, They're not really cities, but mm. down south, they have snow, but. Yeah, no, no snow where I'm at ever. Okay. So you in t-shirts and shorts all the time then? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, we'll have, like, jeans. Like, it'll get cold over winter, but summer, it's shorts. Yeah. That's dope, man. What about uh, stimulus, man? Do you guys get any uh, stimulus <laughs> with the whole we'll cold? Just get right into it, huh? <laughs> no, nah, we'll get, like, uh, I know there's, like, particular benefit for people who like don't uh have work or whatever but covid like oh 
I don't know if I was supposed to say that word with you. Yeah, we can't. Try not to say it. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, I mean, yeah, for people who lost jobs, but we're, uh, I don't, I think we're fully, we're mo- for the most part free of it. So, like, wow. most of the restrictions are gone now. Uh, did did right, you guys have you, any um? Did you guys have any restrictions in the airport, like people flying in and out? Was there any any? Oh yeah, any, yeah, for a while. Travel, but yeah, yeah, it's opening up a bit more now. Yeah, that, that's you guys, because uh, you guys responded yeah. pretty quickly to everything, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Our country did great. Uh, I mean, yeah, it sucked obviously, like for that five six weeks but after that there's like another surge that this restrictions went up a bit but yeah i mean yeah places like europe and you guys it got it pretty bad like mm-hmm. a few times so you guys you guys locked down for six six weeks straight nobody in uh, nobody out yeah yeah it's like yeah, maybe five weeks something like that mm-hmm. and then we <laughs> had like a tiered system so I know mm-hmm. at tier oh, three right. you can see yeah. phases five people or whatever yeah mm-hmm. well what, and um yeah guys what did they do were they were they like testing rapid like you know were they doing a lot of tests to like contain it uh yeah fair amount I never got tested but uh yeah I don't know there were just restrictions on work and if you I know you had to have pretty serious like symptoms or whatever but yeah i know we, we did have a good amount of testing mm. oh okay did you um I, I don't know if you know youtube's your your full-time you know gig but you know when it came to work um were you like in an office and then once everything started happening it went remote no nah, I, I was still at a supermarket so it was basically the same to be honest just like oh okay restrictions on like had to wear a mask and gloves and that's about it. Nothing. I, I mean, for other people, like some people went out of work or I know I had to go remote, stuff like that. But for me, it's like, just, yeah, it was a, it's normal. Are you, normal, are yeah. you guys still wearing masks now? Like when you go out or nah, nah, no. Wow. Yeah. I'm moving Ooh. to New Zealand. That's it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> right. How no, about, it's uh, pretty good over here. That's good. Cool. Cool. Is there normal? Yeah. yeah honestly yeah like you know people saying oh there'll never be like it won't be the same afterwards but honestly it, besides from like to new zealand huh? yeah economy you know is maybe a little more shaky now obviously but yeah. other than that it's like life's back to normal wow i don't know if you yeah. uh have seen on the news like when it comes to america a lot of the mass um people have issue with like they feel like the government yeah, shouldn't be thing, allowed yeah. is that something uh, that you you experienced there in new zealand or uh, everybody was like whatever you guys say we do yeah more like that like they they had like you know some people protesting that but they kind of got laughed at but yeah like <laughs> i don't i don't know man like yeah some people like yeah i don't, I don't know i think it's a bit silly protesting that to be honest but gotcha yeah it's like so 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 if you think it's silly over there then you think like america's a joke because we were people was going yeah, crazy was like, like they mass. really protesting like out in right. the streets protesting yeah i know you gotta yeah gotta pick and choose like the <laughs> oh no the mountain you die on kind of thing like I, you know it's just a mask eh? it's like <laughs> yeah just the mask infringing on your freedoms kind of thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. And look, wow. you guys did it without no vaccine or anything, man. You got no, yeah, I just yeah. read a report though. I just read it came out today, I think. Um I actually got two, right? Back. They approved two vaccines? Yeah, two vaccines. I just don't know if it's it was you know, Pfizer um, and Moderna, right? I'm not sure. That's what I want to know. If it's us, if it's from America or did they create their own, you know, type of situation. Did you hear about that, David, or no? Uh, honestly, like, after a while, I kind of got bored of the whole COVID <laughs> thing every day, so I kind of just switched that off. But Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there's a company called AstraZeneca and Novavax. Astra- AstraZeneca. 
Yeah. yeah. You know, is that American? Eh? Yeah. Or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. How about no Nova Vax? Nova? I don't think I've heard of Nova. Okay. okay. You know what's interesting though, like David saying what's going on in New Zealand, that kind of pushes back on the conspiracy theories of uh this kind of world uh world domination through covid <laughs> like uh all the you know they're trying to lock people down like new zealand is up and running like like nothing they good you know what i'm saying right. yeah but they yeah. locked down for six weeks straight yeah they did yeah yeah i mean there's perks of being like a smaller country so you now we've got so 4.5 million so we're pretty small so wow that's like the city of <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> half a city over there like. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah man that's so nice. when you guys were when you guys were on lockdown they did provide you guys with like a stimulus uh during that time or with some uh, wait what was the the lockdown over there was that like you can't leave your house at all no nah, like you could get essentials and like maybe you could run around the block or something for exercise, but yeah, no like entertainment or anything. And no gym. I know there were line like restriction of amount of people in the supermarket and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Oh, so about the same. They just okay, yeah, so you yeah. y'all had essential essential work, right? Like uh, yeah, yeah, it's essential yeah. work. Very Super similar markets and. Hospitals, yeah, yeah. restaurants was was delivery, right? Like, yeah, the yeah. only okay. So yeah, wow. similar to what we did, but we, we it took us a while to get there because remember restaurants were like you couldn't even go in or anything, but we did delivery as well, right? Yeah, not in the beginning, still doing, no? still doing. Oh well, yeah, in the beginning it was right. Some of them, yeah. And you then we go dine in up. and all that stuff. So now you could dine in, right? Entertainment, everything's back. Oh, yeah, you could do whatever you want over there. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no it was like a small one. period where like it went uh, back a bit, but yeah, it's pretty much. I, you know, like there's a few things like I know some of them still have like sp- I know spacing for lines and stuff like that, but right, yeah, for the most part, like. I don't really see people with masks too much anymore. Wow. I mean, I wasn't around hospitals really, so I, I didn't know. Might still be like that there, but yeah. Wow. Did you guys have an issue with toilet paper? <laughs> yeah, it took up pretty quick. Uh, really? Even there? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was down. Uh, yeah, I think during all that stuff. Yeah, I was down the aisle with the toilet paper, so. Yeah, I'd see that empty most of the time. But wow. what is up with That's toilet okay. paper? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it, bro. But <laughs> no it's one weird. We're humans, yeah. weird. Oh yeah. yeah. I was just like, oh, they see it going quick. I better get some more, and it's just like snowball. Wow. What do you think wow. on the response between you know New Zealand and then what you see when it comes to America? Like, do you think it it, it really didn't matter or? Do you think like New Zealand had a point, or do we even have a point? Uh, well, I think like obviously there is like that that does factor in like you know four and a half or five million or whatever compared to what three hundred and something million people. Yeah, uh, right. I think the whole like I don't know the whole like freedom thing where like Americans are really into like that. I don't know. They, yeah, so some of the stuff's a bit silly. Like, you know, don't want to lose your freedoms, but then it just slows everything down kind of mm. thing. Mm. But, okay. yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a lot more complex, but I definitely don't think Trump yeah. did the, the best job, to be honest. But, yeah. Okay. No doubt, man. Oh. That's what's up, man. Huh? I heard you guys, um, that's the same thing with your, uh, is it like your jails, right? Like, like the jail system is a little different. It's more of like a re kind of a rehabilitation Rehab type. kind of thing. Uh, kind of not gonna lie. I don't have the best knowledge about, you know, the prison system and stuff. I know like, yeah, I mean, I, I know like culturally, you know, we're, you know, there's like 
some history of New Zealand, you know, like colonized by, you know, like UK and stuff. And then, you know, instead of, you know, African Americans in America, we like, they got taken from their home to some random place, but like, that's you know, more the Maori people over here. It's like, they're still, you know, in their home, but, you know, most of the land got taken off them and stuff. Yeah. So I think as far as like prison stuff, uh, I think like, you know, how there's like high percentage of African Americans who are in prisons and stuff, like comparatively, it's kind of like that with Maori people as well. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, honestly, like, yeah, I, I, I don't have much knowledge about prison stuff. Like, I, I ain't been to jail. <laughs> He's like, I've never been <laughs> locked up. That's yeah, yeah. Like, don't, like, don't ask me. I don't want to know about the jail. <laughs> I don't want to know about the jail. No, nah, yeah, I got some <laughs> friends who, you know, their family, like, you know, I came from a pretty clean past, but, you know, like, yeah. my girlfriend, so, even like, totally different past of mine. So she should probably have more knowledge of that. But, yeah, that's oh. what's up, dude. Girl, yeah. a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, wild. Well, so, I don't know. What about the what about the um like the UK uh or the drill scene? Oh Is yeah, what y'all listen to out there? Well Oh man, it's like well there's not there's basically no Christian hip hop scene over here, so I'm kind of really? like Wow. On my yeah, I I was uh, hanging out with my mate before, and we we're doing the maths. I had like you know a certain amount of percentage of New Zealand uh, views over like the last month, and I had the equivalent of like seven people from New Zealand watch like <laughs> each one of my videos. So wow. yeah, there's like like seventy percent of my views are from the US. So wow wow yeah. that's interesting yeah I've heard a, couple of, a couple of people mentioned mentioned your videos in the in the youtube videos a couple of people on chh but i also saw that uh you did a video with your girlfriend right she was listening to chh <laughs> for the first time so i imagine she's one of the seven people who watch your videos yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably her and my mom and like i don't know a couple of my mates or something so is there no scene like there's no chh artists in new zealand like doing <sighs> christian budding it's like uh, there's this one guy that comes to mind. He's called like Rapture Ruckus or something. He's like I know a mixture of like rap, but it's like kind of pop C- CCM as well. I'm not really into it to be honest. But oh, okay. I mean, it's cool. But you know, it's I'm not into like dubstep and rapping together. Like, yeah, it's not my thing. <laughs> so yeah. So have you heard the the drill scene in the UK? Yeah, yeah, like I, I didn't realize there were like Christians doing it. I had to like search that out kind of recently. Mm-hmm. Right, but I have been keeping a tabs on like just the you know the secular drill scene because <clears throat> I do like the sound a lot. So this 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 two um there's, there's like two groups that 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 uh, switch put me on. Yeah, right. One yeah, one's going to God. 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 <laughs> yeah. And hope yeah, this dealers. one I found recently. Yeah, yeah hope dealers too. Hope, hope dealers, dealers are big. Yeah, like the hog well, mob. Yeah. They like the hog mob of. Uh, uh, they the ones that had like the, the Range Rovers and Lambos in their video. That's them with the beams and the and the <laughs> Bible and all that. Yeah, one of them yeah. had like all kind of stuff in their vid. Money. They was throwing money. Around. Well, I, I was I was I was looking through the comments, so it looks like there's like I saw a that big, too. There's like a big church out there. And they're producing these rappers and they're pushing them out. Um, but they mm. be hitting like the secular realm. Like they're on websites that like you know, world star hip hop. They're not on, I'm not saying they're on that, but, but over there, like their world that. star yeah. hip hop over there, that's yeah. what they're on. Like they're not even on the like Christian scene like that. They just, you know, yeah, yeah, there's a lot more crossover there, I think. Yeah. Cause some yeah. people were complaining like, "Oh, this isn't of God," and <laughs> yeah. how, I did. I guess they waved the Bible, and they're like, "How could how dare they wave the Bible like that?" Or something oh, like man. that. Like, oh. Which one? Which one you heard, David? Was it the Goons for God? Yeah, I mean, I've heard both of those, but oh, okay. Goons for God are my favorite though. Yeah, they're pretty dope. I would like to see more CHH artists in America start doing that because out here, um, in New York. 
there's a big drill scene. You know what I'm saying? You got Fabio and you had Pop Smoke and all these other guys. Yeah, I like I like that sound a lot. I reckon they should yeah. tap into that a lot more. So, who do you listen to mainly? Uh, what intro or just like, no, 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 anything, anything. Um, just anything. Chh, just uh, Chh, probably like uh, Paris Carriz, John Keith, uh, yeah, What Up RG sometimes. Yeah, just all all those kind of younger guys usually. Yeah, those yeah. dudes are dope. So, be, being that you're from New Zealand and you mentioned that there isn't a lot of artists out there, how did you come across CHH? Like, how did you get into into Christian hip hop? Uh, well, would have been maybe five five years ago. I was coming. I know my. I'd be driving, well, mum would be driving home from school, uh, oh, yeah, five and a half years ago, and Lecrae was playing on the CCM radio over here. So okay. I heard it was some song off Anomaly. And then, wow. yeah, I looked him up, saw, I know, Andy Minio's Neverland, and then, yeah, that's how you I went down that, whole, that rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That whole community, right? Yeah, all the Reach boys, and then, <laughs> I know, Social Club. Yeah, I hear that, man. Reach is global, man. Y'all hear that, man? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So um, when you're, you know, five years ago, whatever, before Lecrae, then who was it that you listened to? Like, are there any, like, bigger CCM in, in New Zealand? Uh, or was it more also Amer American or UK? Uh, well, the weird thing is I grew up and I, like, I didn't really listen to music. Like, I... I'm not really into CCM. I find it a bit corny, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, like, I like the hip hop sound. Like I'd sometimes listen to it, but um, I know you know some of the lyrics. I just you know if I'm trying to live holy, I can't be listening to them. Uh, yeah, I know when I was young, I listened to like tough step and stuff. Weirdly, I used to go around in my BMX bike or my scooter, listening to a I don't know like some cliche oh, yeah. one like Skrillex or Skrillex. <laughs> back back when he I'd drink my you know Monster Energy drink, listening to Skrillex <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So so the the is is it like the hip hop the Christian hip hop isn't accepted as much in the churches over there or is it just <sighs> that there there's not really much of a scene so that's why it's not. Oh. I don't think people even really know about it, to be honest. Wow. wow. Like, I'm not, to be honest, like, I'm not that connected to, you know, other churches and stuff. Like, I'm pretty, in my my own world, like, I'm part of a home church. I was part of a bigger church before that. But, you know, I wasn't really, like, active in my faith until I moved to a smaller town. So, like... Mm. No, I'm not around like the bigger churches. They have like I don't know four or five hundred people. You know, so yeah. So yeah. a Christian rapper is very odd to to yeah. And, yeah, and there's probably. nobody in the church that would be like, "Listen, I want to rap for God" or something like that. Uh, know. Yeah, I mean, like there's, there's a few people in my local one. There's some like youth boys. Um, that you know might want to do that, but that's not really like a a thing. Interesting. So when you present them the music, like you, you tell them, "Hey, listen, this, this guy Lecrae or uh, What Up RG," like what do the people say? Uh, I don't know. Like, there's some boys. Like, I was a youth group leader, and then they asked what YouTube stuff I did. I was like Christian hip hop, and they kind of laughed at me. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, all the people I'm around now, like, you know, being known that I've been doing YouTube for, like, you know, this channel at least for, right. you know, three and a half years or whatever. So they're, like, they've heard my music before. So I know some oh, of them man. think it's cool. Some just, like, yeah, it's all right. Still rather listen to Juice World and, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So, so hip-hop is big there. It's just yeah, Christian hip-hop is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, okay. among young people, like hip hops, yeah, the thing. So listen, man, our CHH artists, y'all gotta hit 
this is the New Zealand market, man. <laughs> <laughs> we fresh. Yeah, out yeah, there. there's yeah, not too many people out here, but yeah. So, yeah. so be, be, being that Christian hip hop um, isn't big in in um, in New Zealand. How did you get started in in into YouTubing, especially specifically about CHH and stuff? Yeah, well, I started. Oh man, I had another channel, gaming channel. Uh, yeah. Started it uh, over seven years ago, so that would have uh, twenty thirteen. So yeah. I'm twenty one now. So wow. Was, okay. Young. Yeah, yeah, I was like thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Wow. You know, I was, I was playing like the typical, you know, kid stuff like Minecraft and COD and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, you know, see my channel now probably don't know that I made like two hundred and fifty videos. I got up to like four hundred and eighty subs and then quit. And like, yeah. On the game gaming or CHH? Oh, gaming, gaming. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so I quit that. Uh, what made you quit? Uh, you know, growing up, not really into you know Minecraft or well, well, <laughs> you know, maybe switch over to like Fortnite or whatever. The, yeah, the, I I, well, Fortnite wasn't even a thing back then. But okay. yeah, I, know, I just wasn't into it. Right. Uh, yeah, so I, it was probably like five years ago. I stopped doing that, and then. Uh, so were you making like a living off of the the gaming? Like, was... oh, no, 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 definitely not. Oh, okay. I probably made a total <laughs> of like two hundred bucks from that or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, Maybe I mean, making some money, you probably would have been like, yeah, let's game some more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't big time at all. I mean, like you know, even with this channel, like I make nowhere near enough, especially because I wasn't really doing anything for like a year, so. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that. Um, I think uh, there was another YouTuber. I think his name's Lucky, and he oh, had, Lucky Murray. Yeah, yeah, he had he yeah. had mentioned that you you kind of like stopped doing YouTube videos for CHH as well. Was it yeah, yeah. was it because you got like tired of it or yeah, I don't know, I just lost motivation for it. Uh, I know I was like. On our news videos, like it's just same old stuff, you know. Christian hip hop dramas kind of rinse and repeat, just the same sort of. I mm. don't oh, know, like, oh, Christian rapper versus rappers, Christian, like all that kind of right. <laughs> cliche all the, all stuff. The politics that go along with. Yeah, it's things. like, yeah, and like before, uh, before that, uh, I know, like, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to do some interviews you know, to kind of switch it up. And then like, oh, probably, probably like five. And then like most of them, like when it came time to interview, they're just back up. Know, they're busy, All just right. to turn up kind of thing. So I was like, ah, oh, I can't be bothered, you know, like. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so what, what was the first CHH video you did? Do you remember? Uh, top 10 artists. Okay. I've seen that one. I yeah, I'm one. I'm not proud of those earlier videos to be honest. It, um, I mean, but it got the highest views, don't it? Yeah, that's what I hate about it. To be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got all these all my videos except for maybe one that's above a hundred thousand. Are like, wow. Yeah, but don't you feel I know, like they're made crazy. right, but it's just like I don't know. So your I'm first video, so. your first video did that many views right away? Yeah, I had quite a quick well. Something probably most people didn't know. The first actual video I made on my current channel uh, was, <laughs> I think it was some like SDA, like Seventh Day Adventist, like exposed video or something. Like, <laughs> oh, I, know, I was talking about the religious. <laughs> oh, you know, like I just disagree with you know some of the, you know, the different beliefs they have and stuff. So yeah. you you did that was your first video, and then you you took it down. Yeah, yeah. Like, how long I did you put a lot of for? effort into that one. Uh, <laughs> you got to send us a link for that. Maybe a did month you or, two? or you just unlisted it? No, I deleted it. it. I kind of wish I private it. Let's leak it. But... We're going to leak it. <laughs> no, he said he deleted it. He don't. He doesn't even have it unlisted. Yeah. 
I still got some of my old Minecraft videos like private. Yeah. So I, sh- I show my mates. Oh sometimes. yeah, we like, need that. We need squeaky that. voice kind of thing. Yeah. Were, you, were you like, "Hi guys, this is David," and uh... oh, I was bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my my name uh my name was the Cobra NZ. I was just nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So I guess it's just, hard. I guess it's hard because I guess the discouragement kind of come the comes for you maybe because also you don't have that support system. Like here in America, everything is here, right? Like the concerts, you know what I mean? The networking mm. is a lot easier. You know the culture, obviously. You know what I'm saying. So I guess maybe sometimes that may be dis- a little discouraging for you. Like, a hundred percent. I'm like just on a out on some like island, just looking over, and it's just like all these, <laughs> all these people. It's like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it would it'd be cool to meet some of these artists, but yeah, like there's been a few times they've come over. Like, I think What Up RG came here once. Oh, like wow. a couple of years ago, but he thought New Zealand was in Europe. So I, I don't know what to say about that. But <laughs> wait, wait, oh, man. yeah, oh, man. a bit outrageous. But yeah, I think maybe Lecrae and Andy Minio came like ages ago. I could just imagine what that show was like. What's yeah, going on UK? Is <laughs> <laughs> he going to UK tour? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I I'm not sure. He said he was coming to New Zealand, and then I look at. Where he's going, I think it was like some bar or something. So I don't know who. A bar? How that, yeah, there was some like DJ, some Christian Hip Hop DJ or something. Oh. I don't I don't know what, yeah. But the place it was in Wellington, that's like eight hours from me. So wow. it was a bar. So many bars, yo. That's not but, Christian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, NF a- came here like five, six years ago back when. Well, I know. Yeah. Probably called himself Christian Rapper. What was the was what was the response with him? Uh I don't know. I yeah, I wasn't even in Christian hip hop then, so Oh okay, wow. okay. yeah, oh, I okay, okay. I wouldn't know who he was back then. Yeah. Okay. How do you how do you feel about the whole Christian I'm a Christian rapper, but not you know, or I'm a rapper that rapper. does That's gospel Christian, Christian like do you do you guys like get into those petty debates or is it just like oh well, it doesn't matter like you're all Christian? At the uh, well, I mean, you know, none of my mates care because uh, they're not like that into Christian hip hop, so I wouldn't have debates with them about yeah. that. But just like my thoughts about it, um, I don't know. Early on in my channel, I used to care a lot more about that stuff, and I'd like. I know the typical stuff against Lecrae is like collabing and stuff like that. But I know lately it kind of comes to understand like it. Yeah, I know. Is it, did you guys see that thing with KB and Fnatic? I think they were talking yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. On the uh, South Southside Rabbi. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, like that perspective is interesting. Like, you know, people are probably going to call you that you know eventually so like in you know one sense doesn't really you know matter like holding on to it so much like, no, I'm christian who raps but yeah. then uh at the same time like it makes sense like you like what you're doing is rapping like or i don't know there's a whole thing about you know christian plumber or whatever or <laughs> yeah you yeah. Know, <laughs> whatever it is christian you know, some, palmer <laughs> yeah, yeah like i know i you know i can see that perspective like it does make sense like you know you're you're rapping you're a rapper you're a music artist you know i mean you are a christian as well but yeah yeah at this but at this point don't you think I, that, don't I think don't you think that there's there's a little bit of a difference though between like a plumber and a rapper because you're not like for the most part, like when you listen to rap music, a lot of it is like a lot of destructive, negative content, right? A plumber isn't doing that, and you're not singing about quarter inch pipe off, you know, the rest of the day or the rest of the week, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's definitely like more obviously worldview and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Uh, yeah, like yeah, I know I get both sides, but. I yeah I don't I don't really care like it's 
it's whatever people are going to call you what they call you like, yeah you're wasting your energy if you get caught up on that kind of stuff yeah All right. def- definitely we encourage you man keep dropping content man because it's dope and um i like the fact that it's like short and simple it's to the point you know what i'm saying it's not like long-winded it's like hey this is what's going on this is what happened this is what i you know this is what was going on in chh world and then you're out <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know it's just, just myself as well yeah i know it's just hard that because you have you don't have that you know you have the support online definitely you know what i mean you know that but the mm. in person and you know being around other individuals who feel you know is yeah. that go ahead my best wish. no 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 i'm good uh dave does that because of that right be because your views are, are, are they're they're up there they're good um but being that you don't have that support does that discourage you um that you don't have that locally like to continue these conversations with other people um do you question what you do at times yeah a little bit like you know i definitely like yeah i know it's weird it's like i definitely don't feel as accepted as much as like you know some other you know youtube channels out there but right. you know like it, there's different things you know like I, obviously most of them in america yeah uh, i think like the whole you know white thing kind of plays a little bit into it you know like you know like and i'm probably more relatable to you know white people but african americans are his like you know, some guy who, I don't know, to them sounds Australian and like, I don't know, might kind of like imposter kind of stuff. So, oh, yeah. okay. I see what you're saying. Like, kind of like, do, do you get that in the comments? Cause I, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people check for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, not, but, not really. Like, honestly, a lot of stuff is like, you know, self doubt more so. Yeah. Like, you know, like, even though I might not get as much love, like, I, I still, you know, get a lot of love you know artists yeah. message me like you know i didn't get that i didn't get that i mean so like you said um i when when i see your stuff and i see you know who may be following you or you know your views and stuff i don't i don't think that's that's ever an issue you know what i'm saying i think right. um you know regardless of your race if you're genuine and you're committed to it i think people are going to respond positively yeah so, um, definitely yeah so i don't think that like you said it's self-doubt but i think once you get past that 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 stumbling block in your mind that you you're probably gonna end up doubling tripling what you're doing now right. you know what i mean because because once you get your confidence lined up with what's already there i mean because you got a lot going on right now um your number's better than ours man <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> so no, you, yeah, it's man, crazy, but go ahead. Oh, no, yeah, like, yeah, I know that's something I've been like going through recently. Like, I put up a post about it, it's like, you know, validation and stuff like that. Like, yeah, yeah, and in some way, like, when I started this channel, like, it really like blew up pretty quickly. So, like, especially where I'm at now, where it's like, it kind of died down a bit and then trying to like get back to where I was and more. It's like, you have to really grind a lot more and like, yeah, you know, like, Oh, you know, it was my peak, you know, 2018, like, yeah. we're going to get back to that. And, you know, like just a distance as well. Like, you know, I'm not friends, friends with anyone really. I don't talk to, you know, whoever it is, any of the, yeah. media people artists regularly at all so and it's just you on your own right like you yeah yeah you do it's the editing room. you do the uploading and all that good stuff right yeah, everything yeah yeah well we here for you man <laughs> we support <laughs> you man and we, we definitely appreciate, appreciate your, your channel man and um you know what you've been doing you know what i'm saying and yeah. uh you know I, I, I think it's really encouraging a lot of people i mean I didn't know much about like, you know, over here we know about like Ruslan and Southside Rabbi and Compl uh Complicated and the crew and all all, all those um individuals. And then I recently I was like, yo, this 
like check this dude out like you know what i'm saying i seen the numbers and then i seen the comments and i seen how people were like really uh loving your videos and i'm like all right this dude he's official but you know i i thought like i thought i was one of those who thought like you was in the uk or something <laughs> from the accident yeah. and everything and then yeah. he told me nah he's in new zealand i'm like word i'm like oh that's dope <laughs> yeah totally totally different culture and stuff over here <laughs> and but. and for me like i've so i got saved when i was 15 years old um so i seen chh like what 15 years probably you know what i'm saying if if that or maybe a, a little bit more so to see how far chh reaches you know what i'm saying that it, it's even in your country you know what i'm saying new zealand and all these different countries it's like super encouraging you know what i mean to see that and mm. you know yeah, you, you, you like thing, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you're sort of like a pioneer in where you're yeah. at because you're over there you know what i'm saying and right. you're speaking about what's going on over here and you know you're doing it for the gospel sake or whatever a substitute for for secular hip hop so yeah it's really dope to see that you know what i mean it really is encouraging especially at your age too where you're 21 you know what i'm saying you're not like us old guys <laughs> i won't point <laughs> out we pretty old man <laughs> want to stay <laughs> want to stay they want to <laughs> stay their age on here man uh, well, i'm 35 so 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 oh, you yeah. you 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 21 right david yeah yeah you old enough to be my son i, I got a daughter <laughs> yeah. yo he just son wow. you, David. <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey hey but he, he he got more subs than me so it's all good <laughs> right, right. Oh, he's, son me. he's still son of me <laughs> <laughs> i try not to think about that eh? but <laughs> you're like seeing like i don't mean the crew kind of came up at the same time and it's yeah. like I I had like, yeah, we we're like going back and forth, most subs and stuff like that. Then I was being them for a while. They beat me for a little while, and then like we we're kind of even. I leave, and then like you know, a year later, I kind of start uploading again. They're like eight thousand more subs. I'm like oh man, wow! And it's like that Rusan's crazy. It's like yeah, he's killing oh, it. Yeah, I. Yeah, for the most part, like when I was like active, like he, you know, had less subs. He was kind of doing different kind of stuff, more so an artist and media. Yeah. And then like, I started this year. I think he had fourteen thousand. And then like I started uploading properly maybe six, seven weeks ago, and he's gained like fourteen thousand subs or something ridiculous oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah he's going crazy yeah um so back to the the youtube scene what made you decide um i want to upload videos about chh on youtube specifically uh well you know i, I was a fan for a while and like i know i i could see there was like a massive gap there i i don't know about the crew i only knew about track stars really and Rapzilla, but like, you know, I think, uh, was it one day she used to do like Christian rap news or something? Yeah. For Rapzilla. Yeah. yeah. So I, I thought about that the other day. I was like, wow, that's so weird. But um, yeah, I saw like no one, you know, filling that gap. And then, mm. yeah, I don't know about the crew till I had like about 700 subs or something, but you know, they were doing, you know, kind of similar. It, it's definitely been a bit of a difference now. Like I used to do a lot more news, but they're just like full on, you know, DJ academics types. And I'm yeah. kind of doing more, yeah, you know, topic commentary stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I kind of saw like a gap. I knew like I was, you know, I could make thumbnails and, you know, videos to, you know, decent enough level that people would, you know, it would stand out. So, yeah, yeah that's kind of how I got into it. Just with yeah. opportunity. I'm going to let all the artists know out there, you got to start showing my man David some love, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, people been showing me love for a while, to be honest. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, the love dies down a bit when your views aren't as popular. You know, like, I wasn't uploading pages, so, like, yeah. 
and obviously mm. a lot of artists, you know, just want to see this stuff put up. So, yeah. <laughs> but right. you know, it is part of the game, you know. Yeah, especially the YouTube um, game, you know. Yeah, because you always got to be worrying about, you know, are my titles good? How come I'm not getting these views and all this other stuff? So yeah, yeah, that's something it's, it's recently I really had to check myself on, like getting caught up in that. Or like you know, like as far as you know, everything I do is about am I gonna hit you know the thousand mark on views or or whatever, and then you you know lose your creativity and like mm. yeah, it's unhealthy. Right. But so you, you keep pick up, you pick back up like what two months ago? Is that when you started back up? Yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, because I remember, I remember, the, I think one of the first videos I saw of yours was the RG video. Which and one that? Was any, the, the, one of the first what happened ones. to just him? Just as RG, something? just RG, and it had like a question mark. Oh yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that was that was like six, two, seven weeks ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I was watching, I was watching YouTube. I don't remember what I was watching. Your video came up, and I was like, "Who's this?" And I was like, "Oh, this is dope," you know. And then I just started, I just started following from there. And then yeah. I saw all of, all of your videos, and then I saw you. You recently, um, you recently uploaded. Uh, are you doing a playlist? Right? Is that on YouTube or is that like on Spotify? Uh, well, I have both. Okay. But yeah, I had nice. a series going with like Christian hip hop playlists for a while, like I don't know it's a year, maybe almost two years ago now. But you know, with that gap, I missed like eight months or something. But yeah, yeah, like I got a playlist, got you know some followers with it and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. So, what do you think about? the i guess the the big thing about youtube outside of our space is the youtube boxing between <laughs> the, yeah. the paul brothers <laughs> bro i i've been watching youtube for forever like since i was oh don't tell me you were or, jake pauler no 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 i i checked in because like they were doing especially like three four years ago they get heaps of views like yeah i mean they were going viral all Jake the time Paul going crazy in his neighborhood and motorbikes right. and fires and stuff right right uh that yeah, kind I mean, of I've slowed been, that kind of slowed down after that that hanging right that that they took down his video or something like that oh logan Paul. yeah logan, yeah, right? yeah yeah that was i can't believe he bounced back from that to be honest but now he's like right now he's fighting Floyd. Uh, how did that happen? <laughs> but, yeah. It's a crazy world. That's crazy. Weird. You're fighting Floyd Mayweather, the master yeah, I, boxer. <sighs> Probably the number one boxer ever, like in boxing, depending on who no you sense. ask, right? Yeah, way bigger <laughs> than him as well. It makes no sense. But yeah, I don't you know. Think how it's that's... just a, a cash, uh, a money play? <laughs> oh, yeah, but for I still sure. want to watch it, though. Like, <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I mean, his fight, I don't know if you saw it, his fight with KSI, who's from the UK. I, I watched all of it. I, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, it was entertaining. I think, you know, it was. Well, he was I, moving. I caught up with these fights recently, and yeah, like Logan is not like a slouch. Like, I was I was pretty impressed by him and, and Jake, too. Do I think that they're ready for like professional like dudes has been doing this for a while? Nah, like I. Nah. But they're pretty good for what they do. Like being that they're YouTubers, and I don't know. They're if they they're, would, they're, they're good if they stay in like the 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 Bronx Fight Celeb Club. Yeah, you know or celebrity, or even celebrity fights. Right, like like if you know what's what's your man's name from Onyx that got beat up? Biggie Fingers. You know what I mean? He could fight sticky fingers, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. the breaks off with sticky fingers. <laughs> I think they should fight like Justin Bieber or something like that. Oh, he'll beat the brakes off with Justin Bieber. Yeah, Yo, Justin crush. gets trained by, by Mayweather. But yeah, by Mayweather. He, Who? he is tall, though. Justin gets trained by Mayweather. Yeah, he's playing around. Don't do the <laughs> off with Justin. But that's what oh, I'm saying. Like an average, a average person or average Joe that's just fighting or maybe a celeb. Like these guys have some. He should fight Wiz Khalifa, bro. They tried. Two, two tall, skinny dudes. Yeah. Yeah, they tried. But they hold on, wait, wait. Wiz? who should fight Wiz Khalifa? Jake. Does Jake Wiz, train? Do. Wiz trains though? Nah, he'll he break Wiz. Nah, you need you need guys that 
all he does. You need guys yeah. that train to box with these guys. Yeah, but guys, you can tell me now. Nah, I feel box. like I, I feel like these guys are in the gym all the time. They have the availability. They have you know the resources. You know, what I mean, this dude was getting trained by what's his name? Um, what's the heavyweight boxer's name? Brig, uh, Shannon Briggs. Oh, yeah, mm. Shannon. Yeah. Who was tra- so, training Shannon? Who was training um, um, Logan? Logan. He oh, you getting trained by Shannon Briggs? Yeah, yeah, he was. Wow. And that fight, I think the ref messed fight up Snoop. that fight, right? What was mm-hmm. that? Because <laughs> there was a knockout. There was a knockdown by KSI, and then. That wasn't a dirty, like they called it a dirty punch. Remember, they took two points away from, oh, uh, from Logan, yeah, because he had him on the back of the head. Yeah. Oh, it was it back of the head or? Yeah. Well, oh, he, he was like him. going down, and then he just and then he punched them. He down. struck yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. He probably would have won, to be honest, if he hadn't done that. I mean, I thought he was more controlled. He was. He threw his jabs really good. Form was, was way better, you know. Yeah, his form was I was hitting him with the <laughs> with the freestyle strokes, like <laughs> yeah. <He was> swimming. <laughs> yeah. Well, Floyd is gonna wash him, and I don't know if Floyd is gonna do it right away and just get his bag. No nah, man, he gonna, Floyd gonna drag it out. Yeah. You know? Yep. Well, maybe yeah. not. Maybe because look at what he did to that uh, Asian uh, kickboxer. He got oh, him. He oh my goodness! He was like, "Give me my money. Yeah. I'm out of here." I mean, he <laughs> might not. He might not want to do that. He's just like, "Yo, I'm gonna just get my money, take this good guy out, go home." Be but but the, the, the Asian dude, the Asian dude was like a top fighter over there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in like a YouTuber. I think he'll, I think he'll show a little more grace with the YouTuber than he cleaned them up. Maybe you know what I mean, like that. That was more like. Him fighting Conor McGregor. I don't. I don't even think Logan's gonna get punches in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I you think... know, you know, Mayweather's gonna dance around. Yeah, I don't know. Logan's like man, the height and like size difference, though. Like, yeah, that's true. I, yeah, he'll be evading him, but I don't. Might be a bit hard to put How someone that he? much bigger. I think he's like six two, three? six three. Yeah, uh, Floyd's like. Five eight, Seven. five nine. Yeah. Like, but the thing like, is, yeah. like, when he fought KSI, I saw that he had his hands down. He had no defense. Yeah. And with yeah. Floyd, Floyd is gonna exploit that. He's gonna hit the body. He's gonna hit, like. It's just it's no match. But I, oh. like you said, it's entertaining. I still want to see it. <laughs> yeah, <for> sure. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think about Jake and McGregor? Like, have you seen? He he made a post saying that he got fifty. Mil- he offered him fifty million dollars. He's taunting him, ain't he? Yeah, it's just a that's troll crazy. stuff trying to get a reaction. <laughs> hey, think that's, Connor, what I thought about, that's what I thought about Mayweather. And all of a sudden, they announced it. It was like, uh, what? Wait, 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 oh, Connor and Mayweather? Them, no, no, no. Um, Logan and Mayweather. Oh, dude. Because Logan was talking about it before, and then everybody was like. You're, never. That's never gonna happen. That's not, yeah. you know, you, you're gonna get killed or he's not gonna fight you or whatever. And then boom, there's an announcement. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me, to be honest. I know it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't and but then the same thing with McGregor. The numbers, the numbers make sense. Yeah. Right. Know how many yeah, millions sure. of dollars is that? Sure. 50, 90 or something? Well, like? he, 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 uh, Jake offered McGregor 50 million just to fight. Yeah, that's not if even. If I was McGregor, I would, I would take, I would take that and wash him. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I guess that's sometimes it's not all about the money, though. Says so who? You know, and McGregor oh, isn't really that, a fighter. That's uh, true. A boxer. That's true. Some people have morals where they feel like it's not about the money; it's about the principle. So that that could be Connor. But I don't see Connor taking. I don't know. I think Connor should take it. And plus, Connor's not really active like that. Has, I don't know if he has. He can make the choice himself. Like, doesn't Dana White have to approve it? Uh, oh, right, Dana has to approve it. But right. Dana had commented, right? Dana was like, "He's a clown. It's never gonna happen, or something yeah. like that." Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, Ooh, that's, that's, I mean, that's tough. But it it be bring interesting. The sales in. Oh yeah. my goodness! I would love to see the trash talk in between Connor and uh, Jake. <laughs> oh man, that's like super troll. Who's level. this guy? Uh, <laughs> I think, I think yeah, Connor, clown man. Just, <laughs> yeah. 
Bro, yeah, that would be good. Good. when do you think we'll, when do you think we'll see a CHH uh, boxing match? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Maybe Yo, like KB ten fights. people would turn up. KB <laughs> fights. Jared. KB, Jared. KB trains. Jared uh, Sanders throws down too. Hey, maybe something we should look into. We'll set it up. <laughs> Maybe yeah, we'll I don't know, violence maybe we'll, in CHH. We'll see, <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll see something at uh, the GH3 Summerfest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Maybe not. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be crazy if we could get the fight going and then we ho- we, we host it in New Zealand. So oh, David, 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 did you hear oh, about yeah. that? The the big festival that's, that, was, that was supposed to happen this year? But it didn't uh, happen because of COVID. Nah. Yeah, there was, was a big Christian CHH. Hip-hop, um, like, yeah. The biggest ever. Like, I mean, back in the days, we used to go to Rap Fest, Flavor Fest, and all these things. This tops that. This was like a weekend festival. It's going to be in the stadium. CHH. True. A lot of big names. And that'd be so cool. Eh? Where was, was it going to be? Like they that. postponed it. And it, now they gonna, They say they're going to do it next year. Where? where in Cali? Yeah, yeah. The, well, that's where it was last year. Um, I forget what stadium it was. It was in a soccer stadium. Oh, Dave, we got to get your tickets ready, David. David. Uh, oh, yeah, hopefully the restrictions press are Get your press pass. So. Oh. I could actually do that, though, way. Hey? That'd be... <laughs> yeah. Man. It'd be weird seeing all these people in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Just walk out to see the crew, or, you know, Jay or something, walking around. <laughs> you and Q, uh, Cruel did an interview uh, before as well, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. I saw the, it was like recommended to me on YouTube. I was like, oh man. <laughs> recommended you your own <laughs> interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. But yeah. I honestly can't remember much of that. But yeah, I talked to him. That was like the only time I've ever video called him. But, you know, we've, I don't know, messaged a few times and comments, stuff like that. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. That's good, man. So you yeah, have so it was, it was supposed to the show was supposed to be at the Bank of California Stadium. So it's <clears throat> it, that's where the Los Angeles Football Club plays. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so how many software. artists was there? Was it like fifty artists or something like that? Like so many everybody everybody in CHH. Everybody who said there was CHH was gonna be there. Yeah. Even so, if they wasn't. I'm looking right now. It was the headliners was going to be Alex Surdo, Derek Minor, Aaron Cole, Flame, What Up RG, Stephen Malcolm, and Manny Montez. Wow. And then, that was Friday. And then Saturday was going to be Kenton Jones, 1K Few, Aha Gazelle, D1, Jordan Armstrong, Brian Trejo, MC Nice, and Angie Rose. Wow. Quite a mix. And then, the, and then uh, other opening. Performances by Wande, Cannon, Esso, Saga, Propaganda, Jared Sanders, Cease and Desist, Brandon P, Rockstar, yeah. Miss Tiffany, Paris Charis, uh, Paul Russell, Heeson Lee. Yo, everybody, man. Young Noah, Her, <laughs> Illuminate, yeah, Harmony, <laughs> everybody. Yeah. Corey Red, Sean Slaughter. You got all the old school guys coming out, too. <laughs> I didn't Imagine. see that, man. No big deal type. Try, uh, Ty Brazel, Ishan, Uncle Reese, yo, mission. That would be, that would be, Everybody you know, what be so, John you know what's so dope, dope, dope about that is that you you actually get to see them perform and see what their presence is like on the stage, right? Because some people have mm. individuals that they're like, yo, this is the best performance I've ever seen in my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So, right. To experience that, that'd be dope, man. And the fellowship too, man. Yeah, that'd be cool. And the food. And the food depends. <laughs> depends on the food. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, they might make or break it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got a lot of restaurants, you know. In Cali, yeah, but if not, nah, I'll ask Jimmy. Jimmy, where where can we go, man? Man, we go outside and get some tacos. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> get the food <laughs> truck. The food truck is the best, the best, the best food, man. Always. And I'll, it's within my budget. <laughs> Yo, that, I'm telling you, that's going to be a dope event. Uh, God willing, it'll happen next year. Um, 
And then, you know, I mean, the artist merch, I'm sure is going to be there. You know what I mean? Tangible things, their CD. Right. Being well, last there. year, well, this year, it was supposed to be in July. So I imagine it's going to be around the same time. I have no idea. I'm guessing. Right. Yeah. But mark your calendars. Word. We in there. Word up. So, uh, David, what else uh, What else you got going on? Where can people follow you? Uh, what's new? What's coming in the pipeline? Uh, well, at the moment, just focusing on uh, this channel at the moment. Uh, yeah, I know it's Instagram, Twitter, at David Libick. Uh, yeah, I th- in the future, I want to do, I'll probably be doing two channels. Uh, one, like, okay. you know, Christian hip hop stuff. Now I want to do like some like film real life kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, you know, like filmmaking kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know when I'll get on to that, but yeah, I, I need are to you, get are into you my, filmmaking. Yeah. Yeah. I like photography and stuff like that. Like I've, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I was going to do a uh, film school out of school and yeah. then, uh, I know I, backed out of it because wasn't sure on it and it's like right. 10k or something so i was like <laughs> you know if i don't want to do it i'm not you know going into debt so yeah, yeah what, do you, what, do you, down that vein. what are you currently shooting with uh I know, it's like a lumix g85 that's what i got at the moment i mean with the you know budget i had that was kind of best one had the best stabilization yeah like handheld stuff so, and that that's what you shoot your YouTube videos with, or that's just like the filmmaking camera? Uh oh you... well it's both. Like that's all oh. I got. So, right. Yeah, I had a Sony A six thousand before that. Mm-hmm. Um, but with a uh, filmmaking stuff, I know like I wanted to do, you know, like handout stuff and yeah, it's probably yeah, the A six thousand didn't have a mic port either. So Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So the stabilization was the biggest part. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What do you what are you um editing with? Uh I used to use Sony Vegas Pro. Okay. Uh but I've gone to DaVinci Resolve. I don't know if you know about that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that it's like free. It's it's amazing. Dope. Yeah. And when you Dope. dropping your album? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, never probably. No albums? Nah, nah. That would be when my YouTube career dies. When I make music. Yeah. You're not going to diss some CHH artists? <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, I'll stick to making videos about it. Yeah. Nah, I, yeah. I, I don't have any rapping or music aspirations. <laughs> Yeah. He's gonna be he's gonna be shooting those music videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably to be honest. Exactly. But. <laughs> so, well, David, we want to thank you for coming on the show. Yes. Um, thank you so uh, much for your time. Man. Yeah, pleasure, and uh, it's dope to connect with others and have the lo- the listeners um, get to know you and life in New Zealand all across you know the world. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel, uh, David Livick, and uh, yeah, get your merch shop that that's on Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Sixty three percent of you that watch our videos are not subscribed, so hit that subscribe button. Notification bell as well. Remember that. Yeah, all that. There you go. Yeah. Um, the bells and all that. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next week. Peace. Yeah, and peace. 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 Yeah. Good stuff, man.